trying to do is, is raise the awareness uh, among elected uh, officials in the county and the Southland actually uh, in the problem uh, that exists for a certain demographic and that is folks with disabilities in obtaining housing. Affordable housing for people with disabilities is critical because oftentimes their income is low, they may be living on SSI, very limited income, so the availability of housing in the broader community is extremely limited and, and so this affordability component is really important so that they can live in decent housing without having to double up or live in substandard housing so they can have a quality of life that we all want. This process was about bringing all the players together. Uh, we have the idea of sticks and, and bricks, if you will, of creating affordable housing. The opportunity for the, the folks that were involved today was to bring in all those ideas and all those voices into this process so we can understand 360 degrees what the challenges are, what the opportunities are, and what the resources are in order to actually get those sticks and bricks onto the ground. What's important here is the general plan is a community vision. Uh, it's a representation of, of the communities, uh, where they want to go and how they want to do it. And it really is that homework assignment uh, for uh, staff and, and the public to say, this is how we're going to get to where we want to be. And the housing element is one of those uh, basic tools. The first step really is to provide a context for people to make good decisions. And in order to do that, they have to understand what the needs are, uh, what the resources are, and what the means from a federal, state, local, and just a political will uh, standpoint that these things can happen. So it's a, uh, an integrated process that needs to happen. You have to understand that, that some of the disabilities uh, curtail their, those folks' abilities to work, so that immediately puts them into low income. So not only do we have the, the uh, uh, diminished earning capacity for a large group of those people, but we also have uh, lack of access for them. A simple thing is wider doorways or uh, ramps instead of, uh, instead of stairs. Uh, just an, any number of things that uh, that you and I take for granted, every, everything, all day, every day. Uh, but these are barriers. These are physical barriers for some folks with disabilities. Uh, we find many sites, locations, or units, as they're called, where it would seem to be impossible to navigate f with someone with different disabilities. Um, something that uh, has been seen before is large hilltop dwellings with only a staircase. So somebody with any kind of walking device would not be able to to use that space effectively or a second story unit when somebody's in a wheelchair and there's no elevator. Uh, items like this are things that cause problems and is the reason why universal design needs to be thought of first before ever creating a site plan or a level plan before building a building. For those struggling with those issues it's very difficult to find housing that they can a afford with very low incomes um, and also remaining secure and permanent within, the, within that housing. Oftentimes when you have a history of mental illness or homelessness, uh, you need support in managing your psychiatric disability and managing um, the daily activities that are necessary to stay within uh, a residential apartment community. So what's key is, is providing supportive services on site so that the residents will be successful. There's not, uh, there's not enough for everyone, but, uh, but it's, it's growing. And part of our, our purpose here today is to spur that growth a little bit, to give it a nudge, to keep it growing. Uh, the one thing that always cements everything that I've said in everybody's mind at the end has always been when I have a wheelchair out in, in the space and I tell everybody, okay, now for the next 24 hours, that's your home. And for them to have to navigate their life, for them to have to be able to do everything that they would typically want to do to the enjoyment and the efficacy of their life, 
to want to go out and do that. And they start to realize, and every single one of them comes back to me the, the next day crying because they did not realize how completely difficult and unmanageable things are for everybody. And, and that's why it's so important for, for the elected officials to understand the, the scope and the depth of the problem so that when funding issues do come up, then they they don't we don't have to advocate on that particular thing. They hopefully they will have a mindset to understand the need and then uh, vet the issue itself. Uh, and what the housing element does is it really provides that initial direction. That's the policy direction where the uh, elected and the appointed officials are using on a day-to-day -day basis to create that opportunity to actually create the policy.